Okay, I have the parts mounted on the mandrel. And the first thing we need to do, since it's a 50 tooth and, and the indexer doesn't have spots for, for 52 teeth, the first thing we need to do is find the diameter of this, of this plate. And I went ahead and did that and I wrote it down on Okay, so I wrote it down on a piece of paper here, and the diameter was 5 inches and 45 thousandths. Okay, so to take, take that times pi, and it's 15 inches, 849 and 3 tenths. So that's what it would be if I could, if I could virtually roll this surface out flat on a, on a piece, of, on a, on a, on whatever that's what it is it's 15 inches 849 and 3 tenths okay so now we now know how long it is the, the flatness the length so we can take that length and we can divide it by 50 because we're going to segment it in 50 50 50 teeth it's 316 and 9 tenths long. So now if we had a piece of paper to wrap around this that we could lay out and and uh, mark, we'd be all set. We could just wrap a piece of paper around that after we mark it and it'll be all set. Put a pointer out here to uh, indicate to the marks that we made. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if I can move you over here carefully. No, reckon something. You'll see over on the mill, I have it's it's drafting paper. It's mylar paper is what it is. But you can use any kind of paper. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what kind of paper you use. You can use the newspaper if you want, as long as you can see your marks. And what I have here is a pen and it's spring loaded. I used it on my NC when I was doing this because the NC is quicker. I don't have to think about it, it just does it. But we're going to set it up with the digital readout over there and we're going to do the same thing right there. So I'm going to unplug so I can get you over to the digital readout. Okay, I went through this and the camera didn't, I, I didn't either turn the camera on or, but anyway, I have a pen here and I got it, it's a spring loaded tip on it that I made and I used that on uh, NC, but we're going to do it on, uh, on the mill here. I've got a piece of paper taped down, I got a piece of material clamped in that's long enough. I've got a piece of paper taped down. It doesn't matter what kind of paper you use, you can use whatever. And we're going to use the, the digital readout to do our holes. Come on. Wow. No, I can't get it to work. There we go. All right, I'm just going to show you how to set up the readout because it's going to draw 50 lines on there and, uh, and line up the pen at the first edge of the, at the edge of the paper. And then you go over here and you, and if we're in absolute, it doesn't matter, you can be in absolute incremental, it wouldn't matter. Um, right down here, hit that button and it says line length. And you can go either length or incremental. We want to go length. I want to go length so I don't ha uh, have an error uh, um, building up. So that way there's no error to build. It won't build up an error. Um, 
and then you go open. and then you go enter and now we figured it out over there on the surface plate that that circumference is 15 inches 849 and 3 tenths so you type that in it, it rounds it out down to 2 this readout but that's fine it's within Let's see, it's within, uh, um, it's pretty close. So, you, you, you enter that. Okay, what angle do we want it? We want a straight line. We don't want to go off at an angle. We want a straight line going that way. So, we'll go all the way around. To, so, we go 180. So, we type in 180 up there. And we enter that. And how many holes do we want? So now we want 50 we want 50 increments. But uh, start hole and the end hole will be in the same place. So you got to add one hole to it. So it's 51. 51. You enter it. Now it says we're at hole one. That's at the edge of the. So we go to number two. So we move over. So now we move this over to zero again. Back to zero. After you hit the button there. Run hole two. Put it on zero, zero. Right there. Then we go down. And let's see if I can. So we take the paper. We'll come down with our pen. And we move our Y back and forth and draw a line. And we come back to the readout up here. And we hit this down arrow again. Now we switch to hole number to number three. I don't want to say hole, but it's because that's what it's meant for, but we're using it to draw lines. So we just move it back to zero again. Ah. Okay, so now we're on zero, and I come back to the paper here, to the pen, come down, and draw that line, move the Y in and out. Okay, so now when you get all done, because I did, I did all those already, they're all done, um, like I said, the camera, I did a, quite a few of them, and then the camera, I thought that the camera was going, and it wasn't. So now we're going to take, and we're going to cut off that a strip. We have the end over here, the ending line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a razor blade and a scale, because we just want to... We want to cut a nice uh, segment of this out to tape on there. So I'm just going to go like that, lay the scale on there. And then I'm going to come in with a razor blade. And then I'm just going to cut this off right here. It can be cut long, it doesn't matter. So there's my strip. There it is. Now, let's go back over to the surface plate. I'll, I'll swing you around here. You can look over the toolbox, I think. Right. It's in there. Now you're looking at the. Bring my razor blade over here. And I've what I've got here is 
the carpet laying tape. I'm going to clean that with some alcohol so that the tape sticks good. I want the tape to stick good on that. So, so we're just going to wipe her down, give her a good cleaning. Tear off a, a chunk. It's hard to get the, sometimes it's hard to get the backing off of it. There we go. And I just stick that on there. Now, peeling off the tape that we had, uh, sticking it out down over there. And this is this is the beginning end. Stick that on there. And roll it around. There we go. Now it is that is set. <clears throat> we got our our lines except for this one here that I'll have to look to see there's a shiny area where the pen didn't I could see it just a minute ago right there right there I should get the a pencil and, and uh, mark that in before I rub it too much in there, I won't be able to see the line where it was. Just got a lead pencil here. If I... Looks good. So now we're set to go over there. Um, as far as a pointer, you know what I should do is uh, actually just drill and tap a hole in here for a pointer. But uh, I think what I was using before was a magnet stuck onto the chuck. I'll figure that out. Anyway, we'll we'll get that set up. We got we got all this. You can't really go by the arrow because it's too far away. You can't really, you know, you want something you want something that comes up there and points right at it so that you can just line it up. But we are set to do a 50 tooth gear now. We need to we need to set up our get our center line again and what did I do to get the center line well we know the diameter of this we'll come in with we'll come in with this cutter on top and we'll touch the top and then move and then come down the 
and get on the center line. And the depth of that, a depth of a 52 is, I wrote it down here, is 112 and a half thou deep. So that I can almost do in one cut with this cutter, I think. But we'll do that tomorrow. I, um, I was just going to show you how I set this up to um, go ahead and make a fifth tooth here. So, uh, hopefully the camera caught it all this time. Uh, see if I can um, zoom in on that. Well, you can see that you can see the lines over there now the strip that I, I all I did was put one piece of tape on it wrapped it around just like a a, a tire and there it is I did I penciled the the two in that were I could have and you could, instead of drawing lines too, you could use uh, a center, a uh, sharp uh, pointer, and just poke holes in it too. And you can just line up the holes into the paper. So, but I'm going to just check. I just want to check the, make sure I got those ones that I penciled in in the right spot. In order to do that, I'm just going to take my yeah, I, I'm going to find the needle hort. Darn it. Must have tipped it over and spilt all my stuff. I'm looking for the needle for my protractor here, my compass here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a known line that I know is right and come in. All right. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go in and see if I can't uh, upload this video. And then tomorrow, tomorrow we'll make the cutter. So I'm just showing you how to set up right now. Hopefully that tape will hold me until tomorrow. Maybe I. I should put some, well, it'll hold. <laughs> if not, I'll retape it. So, uh, where you go? <laughs> All right there. So, anyway, I've, like I say, I've used that, this, uh, procedure before and we'll be using it be we'll be using it for some other cutters here or other gears also because I have a 
I have uh, 225 tooth, 230s, 235s, 240s, 245s, and 350s. So, so I have lots of gears to make. So, for this project, so, that'll be it. Catch you guys later.